Firefly friends, it's the day after Christmas and Brad and I are here at the nursery because I wanna get going on the floor in Greenhouse One. I started it myself the other day, but there are some heavy things like concrete that I have to move and I really, I would struggle to do it alone. So if you're new here, my name is Nicole and I'm in upstate New York and I'm a flower farmer five years now. And then this summer, I purchased my local nursery. We have four heated greenhouses, and this is a very popular place for people to buy their hanging baskets and their vegetable starts in the springtime. The nursery here has been open for, I think, more than 70 years now, but it needed a little bit of love, and that's what I've been trying to give it over the past few months. We decided to completely redo the space inside number one. When we first moved in here, it was really, really thick, heavy piping all over the place, old pipes, the way they used to heat it 50 plus years ago. We wanted to get rid of that piping because a lot of people were having to duck to shop. Duck to shop is not a good thing for customers. And there was a lot of limited space to get through aisles and a lot of clunky concrete. We wanted to modernize the space while still keeping the gorgeous feel of the vintage greenhouse space. One of the things we needed to do was to update the flooring. The flooring was partially concrete, partially not concrete, multiple levels of concrete. So every time I walked in there, I was fearful of twisting my ankle and I was also fearful of my customers twisting ankles. So I knew I wanted to fix that space. But the thing is, it's very expensive to have concrete poured right now. So we did a little research and I talked to some mentors who also have greenhouses locally and they told me my best bet was to use a crushed stone floor for many reasons. It's easier on my joints and the joints of my customers and I'll be standing on these floors hours and hours a day. And Brad's coming in from the back. It was also good for drainage and it was also a lot cheaper. For less than $500, I was able to get the crushed stone. You can come in, you don't have to stop coming because I'm talking. My husband's too handsome to be on camera today. He's just not feeling it. So if he's shying away from the cameras, it's just because he looks so good. Why are you looking at me like that? Anyway, I don't know what I was saying. Okay, so we are here today to move the concrete and just to kind of rake the stone around. My in-laws may be joining us. I'm not sure what their plans are. I let them know I was here. Sometimes they show up, sometimes they have other things to do. So we'll see if that happens. But otherwise, Brad and I have to pick a place to put the concrete and start moving it. Did you scope out a spot? He's shaking his head no. The, the mysterious invisible man is shaking his head no. Here's a look at the inside of greenhouse number one when we started. So we did a little scoping around and we decided that the atrium, which is the space in between greenhouses one and two, would be a good spot to just lay the concrete and the cinder blocks. Just in, you know, just temporary. This is very temporary. I just needed all of the heavy items out of there so that I could accurately spread the stone around and level it out and make it nice. And then I wouldn't have to move anything to kind of level off the floors. So turns out my in-laws showed up right right before we started to do any work, which was perfect. So thank you guys so much. These are the things that we're moving out of here. They include scraps from construction, little pieces of siding. We kind of used the table all the way to the left that you're seeing here now as a catch-all. There were pieces of cardboard, the leftover poly that was still on the roll when we were done, um, some bags of garbage, some weeds, and some other materials like the leftover roofing, the siding, the J-channel, all of the things that we were using to renovate the space. So we moved all of this stuff into the atrium and then the back of greenhouse number two. The back of greenhouse number two is close enough but yet far enough away so that I can finish the flooring. Where is all this going, you might ask? Everywhere. Concrete, cinder blocks, more concrete. Oh look, more concrete slabby things. Oh look, a pile of junk. Oh look, boards. Oh, things, just things. Half of this is garbage, half of this is not. And this is where it shall sit until the floor in number one is done. I had plans to save this sign, um, but it's, it, oh my God, there, it's just, it's not salvageable. It's, it was left outside for several winters on the ground. In fact, I have a photo of it sitting on the ground outside before I owned the property and it's just not salvageable, unfortunately. Nothing to see here. <laughs> Staff shirt, appropriate. I had um, some YouTube commenters say, um, don't you think it's a little too much for your in-laws to be moving stuff around? And I said, have you met them? <laughs> 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 
See? That's all the answer right there. <laughs> now, I can carry the cinder blocks, but when it comes to those big giant concrete slabs that they were using as their tables or their greenhouse benches, there was no way I was lifting those on my own. I've tried before. Now, I can move them from side to side by lifting one end and moving it and then going around and lifting the other end and moving it so that I could move it across the floor, but I wanted them out so I didn't have to worry about them when I was spreading out the stone. The shade cloths from greenhouses one and two were also rolled out and in here and we needed to move those uh, those we also brought into greenhouse number two and then eventually we got to the point where we were able to dismantle the table which is a combination of old wood that was falling apart and those concrete blocks also the piping underneath we needed to get rid of that the piping was a little bit lighter and easier to carry so my mother-in-law and i ended up moving that way back to the barn Last piece, exiting the building. All right, Renee, get up here with your cleaning machine. Well, that about wraps up the cleaning portion. My mom is gonna come and clean the walls. She's gonna be doing that very soon. I've gotta pull out all of these little weedy weeds and then put a little bit of fabric down on this side. This side is a little bit more dirt than the other side was. So I'm gonna go ahead and put some landscape fabric down and then start moving the rock. We're gonna take a break today. I'm gonna to come back tomorrow and start raking the rest of the stone. That only took us about an hour and a half. So that wasn't all in all a bad time. This thing really bothers me. It's just a piece of wood hanging down here with like some mechanical features. I got this caution because I smacked my head on it in the middle of the summer. What I'd like to do is have that stuff all moved to a beam. That way I'm less likely to smack my head on a piece of wood hanging in the middle of the greenhouse. It's looking so good. I'm so excited. I just want to bring you guys as many updates as I can. So that's it for today. And then tomorrow I'll be back here and I'll be raking around some more stone. Thanks for hanging out with us, guys. We'll see you soon. A lot of you guys have been asking them how we've been holding up after Storm Elliot came through. We are fortunate, guys. The freezing rain, obviously, it hit us, but we didn't get the multiple feet of snow like so many other places did. We got about six inches, so I do have a little bit of cleaning up to do. But all in all, guys, I think we're in pretty good shape. I'll take you down here to number three. Just a little bit of snow I need to remove to the side from the side. I'll be doing that tomorrow. It's honestly, it's not much at all. And then down here where Brad and Lucas cleaned out the other day. Look at that. That still looks amazing. So not worried about that. We're dealing with bitterly cold temperatures, crazy wind chills, winds, but we're holding up just fine. I hope if you guys are experiencing bigger struggles with your winter weather that you're holding on tight. And I hope you guys are all doing okay. Thanks again for sticking around, guys. We'll see you soon. Oh, it's like a jellyfish. Are you taking a break? You want to look and see how much more stone you're going to have to get. Shush, Brad. No more stone. There's plenty of stone. That's not. Brad thinks I need more stone. Like a lot more stone. I do. I think there's got to be six or eight inch difference from here to over there. Stay tuned to see if there's enough stone to properly cover the floor in Greenhouse 1.